Hi, I'm Jack Shelley and welcome to the new series of Jack Shelley Gardener. I'm really excited for this first episode as I'm finally starting to sow some of my seeds ready for this season. There are things that you've been getting on with. It's mid-February, we are approaching spring and there are some seeds which I'm going to be sowing today which you can now get started indoors. The weather's so poor outside that I've had to relocate inside. This is my garage. Greenhouse has unfortunately still got panels missing, hopefully they'll be fixed soon, that's why I'm not in there. The weather's just miserable outside and if it doesn't improve soon then I think we're going to have a very disappointing season this year. But, staying positive, I'm going to be sowing my seeds now. So Thompson Morgan sent me my seeds for this season. A huge thanks go out to them and Michael Perry um, for some fantastic varieties that they sent me. So loads to get sowing um, and get going on the allotment this year. Three of the seeds that they sent me I'm going to be sowing today. So I've got um, the world's hottest chilli um, that I'm going to be sowing, mini munch cucumbers and also I'm going to be sowing my first batch of tomatoes as well. What I've got set up for the seeds is I'm going to be sowing them out here on this bench and then taking them indoors and placing them on a windowsill so that they get nice warmth and can germinate properly. I have got a heated propagator, but unfortunately the greenhouse isn't wired into the main, so I can't use that up there. Um, and I have plenty of seed trays that I can use to get these going indoors. So I've got a full size seed tray here, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to split it down the middle and sow both the tomatoes and the chilies, so almost making it a half seed tray. They both require pretty much the same germinating conditions and germinate about the same time. So I've got some nice seed sowing compost here. This is just any seed sowing compost that you can pick up at your local garden centre or even supermarkets I've seen selling sort of compost and things. It's nice sort of gritty, well draining compost, which is what the seeds need. They don't want they don't like to be sat in saturated soil. So just fill this up to just below or a couple of centimetres below the top of the seed tray. Lightly firm it down so that there's a nice smooth sort of layer. What I like to do is if you get another seed tray and just gently press that down on top, that then creates a nice flat surface to sew on. Now in order to separate them I'm going to use these old wooden plant labels. Um, they haven't got any use anymore so I'm just going to put them in like that. You might need adjusting after you put the rest of the soil on the top but for the moment that gives us a nice even area in which to sow our seeds. So, so the first set of seeds that we've got are these tomatoes. These are sweet aperitif. Um, they're a type of cherry tomato. I'm really looking forward to growing these. Um, the seeds themselves are relatively large. You can see them. Um, quite visibly. So there's the tomato seeds from that. And then what you've basically got to do with these tomatoes is evenly place them on the soil. So making sure there's enough space between each seed. Like that. I'd say that's fairly distributed, evenly distributed. And then what you want to do with the tomatoes is to lightly cover them with a thin layer of compost. Not too deep, otherwise you exclude too much light. And then gently firm down. And that's all there is to sow in the tomatoes. Now the next seed that I'm going to be sowing is this chilli here. One of the hottest chilies in the world. It's a Naga type chilli, so very, very hot. I'm looking forward to trying these later in the season. Again, the seeds I think are relatively large, um, so you can see them and place them nice and evenly by hand. So as you can see, they are quite large seeds again, and you want to, again, place evenly on the surface of the soil. Don't bury them in. Just see if there's any more in here. There's another couple. Like that. And then again, they want to be covered with a very fine sprinkling of compost so as not to exclude too much light again. So 
if you've got a sieve, fantastic, but it's not essential. And then the best thing to do is to give this a light misting and you can just give it a spray on the top. Now it dampens the compost enough so that there's contact with the seed there and hopefully encourage germination. You don't want the seeds to be saturated um, and keep these warm. 18 to 20 degrees would be ideal for germinating both of these seeds. And within 7 to 14 days, you should start to see your new seeds coming through, which is exciting stuff. So I've sown the tomatoes and I've sown the chilies. Now onto the cucumbers, which is a little bit different. Now the next thing that I'm going to be sowing today is the cucumbers. Now these are mini munch F1 hybrids. Um, which sound pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to growing these this year. I've had success with cucumbers before, so hopefully these will be the same. Um, you've got to be sowing into these pots rather than a seed tray. Uh, these pots are good because when the seedlings germinate, they're already going to be quite big um, and they get large very quickly. They need to establish a decent root system fairly sharpish after germination. So you're sowing them in these. Now they've got a little inner rim here, which is what I'm going to be filling up to. Move these to one side for the moment. So, again, using the seed sown compost, fill up to that line, gently tap the sides is always a good thing, it loosens up the soil, provides a great sowing surface, and I'm going to fill up four of these to begin with. So unlike the, the tomatoes, you're going to be actually putting a hole in to drop the seed into. This needs to be about a centimetre deep, now you can use your finger or your dibber to do this, that's about a centimetre. So you can see the seeds here, now they're relatively large in comparison to the rest which is why you're putting them in the individual containers and simply drop them in and cover the soil back around. Now these are very quick germinating as well, especially if you give them the right conditions. These should spring up in these pots within five to seven days, so relatively quick to germinate. And hopefully by the time that I film next week's episode, these will have started to poke through and I can start to show you some of the progress that these seedlings are making. Um, but we'll just see what happens in the conditions. Now with these, what I'm also going to do, because they're slightly larger seed size, is also to give them a quick water in. Now I've got this jug here. I'm just going to cover the end so that a little dribble comes out just enough to... dampen the surface of the soil so that there's nice contact there with the seeds to encourage germination. And then with these cucumbers they are definitely going to be staying in the heated propagator because they like to germinate at quite a high temperature. This temperature is plus 20 degrees C. So although it's warm inside on the windowsill they really need to be just that little bit warmer than room temperature. So I'm going to be placing them inside in the heated propagator. So this is how the heated propagator is looking now. It's really exciting to see the first seeds of the year being sown and this heated propagator is the perfect environment if you've got a broken greenhouse because of the bad weather or because you just simply can't get outside. It's the perfect thing to keep indoors that's going to ensure all your seeds are going to germinate properly. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to move it inside and place it on a windowsill where there's plenty of natural light but keep it plugged in so that it keeps warm. Um, and monitor the seeds daily. They will need to be misted again, especially with the heat, so they're going to dry out quite quickly. Make sure they don't dry out completely. That's never a good thing when sowing seeds. And just ensure that they stay moist and warm and in a nice, well-lit position. And these seeds will be up, ready to prick out fairly shortly. So that's all we've got time for in this first episode. It's great to finally have the first seeds of the year sown, and how exciting as well. Hopefully this season is going to be as productive as last year. I'm really looking forward to working hard on the allotment and seeing what that can produce. I've been restricted to, as you've seen in my previous episodes, the one metre by one metre bed outside my greenhouse. It's a wonderful little plot, but having this extra space is going to enable me to grow proper pumpkins, um, loads of runner beans, peas, there's so much exciting stuff going to be happening this season. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on this year's series. And I very much look forward to seeing you next week's episode when hopefully we'll have some seeds to look at and some more seeds to sow as well.